Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Frambo. Abraham Lincoln is dead, and I'm the Outback Al. I'm not for justice. And I'm Chibi Noob. And, and we found his bicycle. Yeah. This is what we were riding. It was a bicycle. A red bicycle. Is it, was it it words or mine? You're crazy, Fran. I am. I can't talk like Abraham Lincoln anymore. It's not right. He's, he's gone. It's okay. Oh, my goodness. This is our street kitty, Hayes Street. Hayes, like everything in your life. Yes! Is in. It is! Okay. Got it. Is that your house or is it not your house? Not my house. That's not your house. This is my house. It's creepy as shit. And here we are. This is much more gray than I remember. Because it's been years, Fran. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. She won't be. Hello? Why's the doorknob in the middle of the door? Aunt Grace, hello? Weirdos. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? Did you sell us to the asylum, or did I think just imagine that? No, I don't have a kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. It's under the potted plants. That's where they always put it. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Yeah, it's always under the potted plants. Nope. I took the key. Ah, no key. What's this? A note. It says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? It's me! But I haven't taken the key. And I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? Well, you can always climb through a window. Let's go up. <clears throat> Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. Oh, I couldn't find like the, the key. In charge now. It seems that I already took it. You're working you in the wrong reality, Fran. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Oh, all right then, wish me luck. All right, come here. Yeah. You can do it, Kitty. A dog? Be careful. There he goes, the cat going to save the day. Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Let's see what Mr. Midnight's perspective was. Oh. Oh, dear. Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? I, I, I don't know if I'm using the right voice right now. Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you all a long time. How did you escape? I... Escape through the yellow door, sir. Mm, but why are you outside of the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window on the second floor, sir. Mm, Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cart? Yes, well, we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? Girl, you escaped from the asylum. What do you think I was going to do? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. Then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fan, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No! Mm. Mm. Let me go. Mm. Mm. Hey. Mm. Hey. Uh, Fran? Oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Yikes. Tanka shame. Tanka. I am sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. Hello, Fran. I was fired from the asylum because I know too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. 
family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Damn, son. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Markle Holma, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Well, yeah. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise or were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. But the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bow, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Dear GLaDOS, let the newspaper know about Franbo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Franbo, 1934 to 1944. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Wouldn't have been better if this came out on the set, on the... Actually, I'm crazy. I flew over that wrong. I'm not dead, and I'm not free from pain. I'm not dead. <laughs> Who told you this lie about me? I You'll be stone dead, dead in a minute. <laughs> but I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I feel happy. <laughs> I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. Yep. You were given a new variant of protein. Then I looked at it in the laboratory. The levels of ectoplomatine are too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatine creates a door between the subconscious and the, and the conscious. The problem is, the, if the ectoplomatine is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? Is a great confusion in your brain. <laughs> I am a bit confused, yes. <laughs> But that's not because of all the things that I, I can see and feel. what my accent is doing. I <laughs> what do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir. Okay, now you sound like a crazy and person. And also travel into oh. other worlds. Okay, now you really sound like a crazy person. Ultra reality, that must be the consequences of duty and nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. Yeah, yeah I don't know why you think that's going to show me anything, because you're taking the medicine but I'm not taking the medicine, so I can't see, you know, the craziness that you're seeing because you're taking the medicine. You know, never mind. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. Well, in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it. Uh, no, that's why you have the asylum. You, you know how these things work. You know what, you're 10, never mind. I mean, <laughs> that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with a knife, Doctor? What the fuck? How did... Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness. Then it's true. Oh, please. Let's, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. No, I'm not. You're ten. Why would I? We found out. We, we need to find out the truth, fam. I wonder who's behind all of this. Is it the nurses? Or is fault? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the black monster, Remor. The big black monster. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I'd stayed in a third show. I don't. With Polantris and the Great Wizard. Oh god, that took forever. <gasps> what are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polantris. My name was Abraham Lincoln. And my kitty is all alone. Abraham Lincoln. Polantris, Abraham Lincoln, please, Fran. <laughs> Polantris is the doctor of Atherista. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Abraham Lincoln is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside the fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and the Maya case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. Oh, no. Now I remember. It was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> what happened? 
but what happened to these girls? Oh, Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He saw them together. For some reason, he was allowed to do that. No one really quite understands. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. This is why the human experimentation thing was shown on the news. Ah, I see. Because... That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. <sighs> a few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into the well. So they just got away with that shit. Mm-hmm. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Oh, you'll be fine. You don't have a twin. That we know of. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find some things that will lead us to those responsible for all this disguise. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right, right about you. What the fuck is Palantras? You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Okay, you know, you, you could have just said, you know, following the rules or whatever, but you had to add the old man thing, and you're, I'm sensitive about these things. You need to think about how your words affect people. Well, not tonight. I am not an old man. <laughs> All right, the very old man is now taken to a, to a creepy place. How do you feel about that? Um... Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? Oh, I dug you a grave earlier. You'll see. Come on, follow me. Okay. In we go. Into the grave. Doop, 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 doop. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean the opposite of wrong. I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, silly. We need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms can came already. Hmm. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find a shovel so we can get to the deedle worms. <laughs> I'll, I'll go left. You can go right. Okay. Just remember, Fran, two wrongs don't make a right, but three rights make a left. Oh, okay, Dr. Dearn, I'll see you soon. That's Dr. Dearn to you. I'm just being weird now. I know you are. Fine, I told you to go the other way, you stupid person. No, I want my sh frickin' shovel, okay? Oh, a crowbar. Okay, is there anything else in here that I need? Do I need to cut something else out of the thing? Yep. Okay, I made a hole. Cool. I'm like, I know I need something else in here. Why are you ruining my car? You don't need it. Don't I, though? No. Okay. So, let's look at this. That's terrifying. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow Dagenhart, and me. Fran Bow Dagenhart. Eve. A rose. A rose for Eve. Oh, no. No. Oh, why? No, I want, I want, no. Let me light candle. Yeah. Oh, goodness. What have you done? Nothing. That's weird. I got an achievement. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's the grave. Take a shower. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Come on, there must be a way to open it. Yeah, this is where I need my crowbar. So that's breaking that thing fine. You're gonna go back to asylum for this. Oh. oh, hello. What is that? That is a pine cone person. Okay. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. Uh, what? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh. Uh. 
what now? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. What is mating? Yes, last year we used old human skin, oh. but the deedle worms wanted it back. Uh... Um... So we're looking for something more, uh, synthetic. You know, like the flesh of a cow. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Absolutely not, unless you got leather. Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me, from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? But where will I find that? You already found it, Fran. Huh? Can we skip this All dialogue? Right. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I needed to come. Hey, I was randomly vandalizing this car. I think there I got exactly you. what you need, you little troll-looking creature. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zeolus, Pine... The Pine Sol will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Okay. Ta-da! Boink. I'm amazing. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Why the fuck did I say ouch? Yeah. Sebastian? I am the dead. Well, I am not the dead. I am... I am alright, miss. Yes. Good! Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? Fabio! Come back, Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Alright. They're gonna go off and just have their own adventure. Oh, nothing. I can't dig with the broom. You no. Hey, I don't like that defeatist attitude. Get that broom out and start digging. Oh, he what? found the shovel. There you are, friend. Look, I found some pa a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Thanks. I'm not doing this by myself, Fran. Okay, give me a second. Sheesh. Whoop, that's a second. Let's go. Oh, hey, look, some more leather. Did you ruin my car? Yes. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. The stock. I had the crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took it. <laughs> oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? Don't steal from people, Fran, you freaking kleptomaniac. No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening your parents' coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. This is really more than a ten-year-old should be doing. You said it. Yep. There's Dad. Oh, goodness! Father! The deadly worms took your eyes! Ah! This is not something a ten-year-old should see at all. Nope. Hi, Mom. This is disturbing. Yes, it is. She literally just said, hi, Mom. Uh, my kitty. Uh-oh. Woo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! But that can't be my kitty, because Mr. Midnight is home. Oh, jeez. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Okay. Um. He doesn't need a name anymore. Um, old Fran. Did you see any things that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Yes, this is probably going to scar you for life. But also, hey, I'll be a therapist. that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat is missing and maybe this is this one is your actual cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. I don't have to believe shit. Shite. Take me Shaisa. home and I'll show you. Please? All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Okay. Walk, 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 walk. Oh my god, what is happening to me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Menace into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore. He literally just murdered a person in your and your response is I have you have no manners. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Uh, 
I'm trying to do a force joke thing. Hey, it's working. Game over. No, it's not. Well, this is unfortunate. You broken little girl. I think that's my That's line. your line. You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up! Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Oh, and so we'll have to go into Chapter 5. Next time! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh, we're in a bad spot. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!